I've made a 30-year career out of studying Aeromonas. And what I've learned is that there are 29 different species in all the water sources, but only eight of these species routinely cause human infection. And one of the ones that does cause human infection is the one that's been in the news, Aeromonas hydrophila. This is the major species of the group. Um, this has been sequenced. We had it sequenced at University of Maryland with a grant with Tiger in Maryland and with National Science Foundation. And I've spent my career trying to figure out what makes some Aeromonas in the water virulent and some are not virulent. And that's the question. So we are spending time sequencing different strains and looking at the virulence genes. So Aeromonas is a natural occurring uh, organism in the water, doesn't get a lot of attention. That's why I've always called it the Rodney Dangerfield of pathogens. Uh, a lot of clinicians don't realize Aeromonas naturally occurs in the water. So when a person has an aquatic or water-related infection, Aeromonas should be the first thing you think of.